This was arguably the best turnaround we'd ever seen, not just in baseball, but in all of sports. At a certain point, you just had to ask yourself, is this real? There was nothing mystical about it. There weren't angels, but something was going on. 30 for 30. Angels entered the 94 season one of the worst rosters imaginable. I mean, they had a catcher who could barely run. They had a pair of outfielders who constantly collided at each other. And their star pitcher, Whit Bass, I don't, I don't think he could even read. And to top it all off, their manager was a liability. I mean, it's, it's almost like he was fighting with his team, in a way. And he actually fought his team. He, he, was, he was kind of mean at times. I mean, one time he threw something, and um, I don't know if you remember, but the, the bat hit me in the head. I still don't understand how he wasn't fired. And in the midst of a historic losing streak, one strange day in July, the Angels start to turn things around. That, sports fans, is a play you're going to see run in baseball highlights for years to come. Ben Williams, this guy had no business even playing in the big leagues. He was a terrible hitter. He was a horrible defensive outfielder. And then, out of nowhere, he makes the greatest catch in Major League history. That was when the, the whole season started to make everyone believe in us and made us believe in ourselves. And I remember a play the next week where Danny Hemmerling scored on an infield ground ball. Some moments in sports you remember in slow motion, and that Hemmerling play was one of them, because the ball was actually traveling in slow motion. Hemmerling hit that ball, and somehow there were 17 errors on that one play. Beat the previous record by 14 errors. It was the first time in Major League history that a catcher, first baseman, and a pitcher all made an error on the same play in which the pitcher also hit them in the face with his baseball glove. And Mel Clark hasn't started a game in this decade. When I was in double A, I looked up to Mel Clark. But the Mel Clark of 94 wasn't the same guy. He hadn't started a game in four years. Knox throws Mel Clark on the mound in July and he posts a second half that ranks right up there with the best of the decade. Ricky Vaughn in 96, Pedro Martinez in 99, Henry Rowan Gardner in 93. Clark's numbers were better. I've never seen Clark have command of the strike zone like that. If it wasn't Angels, I don't know what it was. Everyone wanted to believe that this was legitimate, but it is clear something else is happening. I have a statement I'd like to read. There have been reports that I've been using angels to help the team win. Angels? That's the explanation. I found that insulting. Yeah, you know, the only reason that why the guy wasn't getting laughed out of the room was because it was the 90s and there were a lot of bizarre things happening in the world of sports. If a hockey player can win the Masters, if a golden retriever can play basketball, if Michael Jordan can play with Bill Murray and Tweety Bird, then maybe we can believe that the Angels can actually win baseball games. And to show you the kind of hole Knox has on the press, there's only one person in the room who questions the thing. George, does this mean you really think that a kid sees angels at your game? The truth is, the guy was making some really legitimate points, but no one listened to him because the guy just sounded like a jerk. At that point, everybody in California was on Team Knox. Well, I have to say, they made me a believer. I believe. We all believed. Oh, and we just knew we were going to win. But during this pennant run, everybody was so wrapped up in angel fever that nobody took the time to ask, why is this manager spending so much time with two little kids? I think it was creepy. The angels can help the team uh, when it comes to getting to the playoffs. Once it's time for the pennant, they cannot help anymore. That is the rule. What's the purpose of that rule? That seems a little arbitrary. Al makes the rules. Who is Al, and why does he spend his time helping a baseball team instead of helping starving children? So Roger could be with his dad again. Coach spent a lot of time with, with, with those young guys, but um, they said that the, the one of the boys could see angels. I, I, I don't know if that's true. I just think that Coach Knox was great and wanted to help those little boys out. The following season, the team is back in last place. Knox is fired by the All-Star break. The angels' dream is over. Would you say the use of steroids aided the California Angels during the 1994 season? Mr. Conseco. No doubt in my mind. Absolutely. Mr. Bass, was the team using steroids? It was Angels. I don't even know how to do steroids. Another weird thing about that season is it seemed like they never played a road game. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe to College Humor and here to watch more videos where you can catch all the laughs. What was that, man?